Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. I am back today with an easy and delicious dinner recipe for you guys and I want to show you how I make my extra cheesy, hearty and delicious baked rigatoni. This classic pasta dish is packed with so much incredible flavor. We're going to start with a boulonnaise sauce, add some mozzarella, parmesan, ricotta cheese, sprinkle in some fresh basil and parsley in there. You guys are going to love all the flavors. Now when I make this dish for myself at home, I like to use my classic boulonnaise sauce. I have a separate video recipe for the boulonnaise sauce but because it does take a couple hours to simmer on the stove top today I want to show you guys a little cheat boulonnaise sauce using ground beef and some canned tomato pasta sauce you guys are going to love this recipe let's get started I want to show you how to make this incredible dish and before we get started on our easy meat sauce, I already have a large pot of salted water coming up to boil on my back burner and I'm going to cook half a pound of rigatoni pasta. Once it's cooked, I'm just going to drain it and keep it warm. Meanwhile, let's get started on the sauce. I have a large frying pan preheating over medium high heat. I'm going to add in a drizzle of some oil and today I'm using one pound of ground beef. I like to use an 80-20 so it has a little bit more fat in the mixture and that fat is going to add even more flavor. So once this is nice and hot, we're going to add that meat into the pan. My pan is nice and hot, so I'm going to add in my ground beef now. And I'm going to use my spatula to break it up into smaller pieces. I'm going to season the ground beef generously with salt. And add some ground black pepper. And you want to fry the ground beef on medium high heat until it's well browned all over and cooked all the way through. It takes about seven to eight minutes. And now I'm ready to add in my marinara sauce. So I specifically chose one that already had the onions, garlic, and some spices in it. It's going to taste so incredibly delicious. I'm going to pour it into my pan. And this already smells so, so good. Make sure to get a nice quality marinara sauce. That's what's going to add all the incredible flavor. This is the exact version I'm using today. It's an organic, bello organic marinara. It's gonna be so, so delicious with this dish. And then grab your spatula and stir in the sauce. So you get the meat and the sauce really well combined. At this point, I've turned my heat down to a medium and I just wanna get the sauce up to a simmer. Let it simmer for about four to five minutes. I've let my sauce simmer and now I've turned off the heat and I'm ready to add my fresh herbs. I have a little bit of chopped fresh basil and I'm also going to add in some chopped fresh parsley. And the fresh herbs are really going to brighten up the sauce and bring it back to life. And this sauce is ready to be used. I have my aromatic meat sauce all done and ready to go. I've also cooked my rigatoni pasta, drained that and placed that into a large mixing bowl. And now for my cheeses. So I have two and a half cups of grated mozzarella cheese. I also have two cups of grated Parmesan cheese and I'll be using just a little bit over a cup of whole milk ricotta cheese. I love to use the whole milk because that extra addition of the fat is just going to add even more incredible flavor and it's a creamier version of the ricotta. But now let's put this all together. So into my mixing bowl I'm going to add in the prepared meat and tomato sauce this smells so good you guys are going to love the flavors here next I'll add in the ricotta cheese and I'm going to add about one and three quarter cups of the mozzarella cheese. I am going to reserve a little bit more than half a cup for the top because I like to have a little bit of extra cheese in the top that melted cheese is going to be amazing and same with the Parmesan, I'm going to reserve some of it for the top. And I'm just going to use my spoon and combine this all together. You want a nice uniform mixture where that pasta is really well coated in meat sauce and that cheese is evenly distributed. And then I'm going to transfer this mixture into a large casserole dish. Just wow, this looks so incredible already. And I'm going to sprinkle the remaining grated cheese over the top. I 
and my rigatoni is ready for the oven. I have mine preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to bake this pasta casserole for about 25 minutes until all that cheese is really nicely melted. And then I'll turn on the broiler, broil for about three to five minutes until that cheese is golden brown on the top. And then we'll come back to add some fresh basil and parsley on the top before digging in to enjoy. I just took my baked rigatoni out of the oven and it is still a bubbling away. Check out that cheese. It looks so gorgeous. Now we're just going to add our herbs and dig in. This baked rigatoni smells so incredibly delicious. Just amazing. I want to top it off with some more freshly chopped parsley. It has a little bit of that green color and it's going to add some great flavor. And of course some fresh basil is a must. And let's spoon up some of this incredible pasta. Oh, that cheese is so melted. It looks so incredibly amazing. Oh, just wow. You guys are going to love how cheesy, aromatic, and hearty and warming this comfort food dish is. Don't forget to sprinkle some more fresh parsley and some more fresh basil over each serving too. And that's it guys for my baked cheesy rigatoni recipe. This turned out so incredibly amazing. I can't wait to dig in and enjoy. For the full recipe, don't forget to head on down the video description box. I'll have a link there that'll take you over to my website so you can print this recipe off and share it with your family and friends. And now time to enjoy. This looks so incredibly delicious with loads of cheese in there. All right, let's get, oh, look at that. That is the perfect cheese pull. <laughs> let's get some of the rigatoni with the meat sauce, of course, some of those fresh herbs. This is going to be so incredibly delicious. Mmm, mm-hmm. This pasta dish is just, wow. If you are looking for some incredibly delicious comfort food, this recipe is it. This is like the perfect meal to have like on a cold, rainy day when you're craving for something warming, hearty, and delicious. This cheesy rigatoni is so, so good. I love that meaty tomato sauce that we added in there. And then you have loads of cheese. I love that creamy ricotta. You have that stretchy melted mozzarella and Parmesan, little bits of that fresh basil in there. This dish is everything. You guys are going to love it. Plus, it's super, super easy to make with my cheat meat boulonnais sauce. And if you guys want to do the traditional boulonnais sauce, I'm going to have that recipe linked down in the video description box below. It's also such a delicious sauce and it's going to be so, so good with this recipe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe at home and I'll see you next time with a new recipe.